Hey everyone, I'm Brandon Bonifer, founder and creator of the Key to Success Planning System, and I'm gonna to talk to you guys today about a new tool that's been introduced by Apple. For those of you guys that have been big Apple fans and embraced the iPad over the last few years in its development, especially since it came out with the Apple Pencil, this new tool, this new keyboard, is gonna be something you're gonna to wanna to learn a little bit more about if you are invested in digital planning and note taking, so stay with me. So today we're gonna to talk about this new keyboard in the terms of how I use it for digital note taking in my digital planner. There's a lot of videos out there to talk about all the different features that this keyboard offers, but I'm gonna focus on the ones that are important to me and important to you if you are someone that does digital planning. So first guys, if you are an iPad user and have the iPad Pro for 2018, this new keyboard will work. And if you already ordered the new 2020 version, that this one is designed for. The big thing you're gonna notice is that the cutout for the keyboard is designed for the new three camera system that is on the new iPad, but the old generation has the one camera, still works good. I don't think it's a problem the way it looks, but the way this thing opens is just slick. One of the first questions that I had is when I do a lot of note taking, I'm constantly pushing on the screen, and what I can tell you is it's pretty strong. Like I really have to really kind of push on it to get it to move. This bracket down here, it locks in place. So as you see, as I pull this, it's locked tight and it hits that edge and this stays perfect. One of the other big key features that I find important is there is a USB-C port embedded on the keyboard. This allows for you to have pass-through charging. So you can actually charge your device plugged into this USB-C port and then use the additional USB-C port that is on the iPad for additional things. Maybe you have a flash drive with photos or photography or some other type of drive or device that you wanna attach. But first off, when I'm in note taking, I wanna use a device that I can really just get a lot of work done. And I was really kinda of disappointed in the first generation keyboard that came out for this device. It didn't feel like I could really type on it. But right now, with this keyboard, I can go in and I can choose the type and the movement of the keys is just so powerful. I mean, it feels like an actual keyboard. If you're using the 11 inch, it's a little tighter feeling. If you have the 12.9 inch model, you're getting that full keyboard. I have both of them as a guy. Uh, I like having a little bigger key space. If you have smaller hands or just you're constantly on the go and you wanna use this more as a portable device, this is 11 inch is really good for it. I used this for the first week on the 11 inch and I loved it. The trackpad being embedded into the keyboard is amazing and allows you to do a lot of cool things. If you're a OneNote user or use some type of PDF, PDF notation app, you can easily jump between apps, between device sections, uh, so if you're in you know, OneNote and you wanna jump from one page to the next, you can easily do that. Talking a little bit about the trackpad that comes with this, it allows you to do a lot of different gestures. And I mentioned that you can move from app to app and even use it to move about app. So you can see from the screen here that as you move, the mouse cursor shows up. And if you go into a darker section of the screen, the actual uh, icon will change colors. And I think that's really cool, especially if you're uh, watching a video or doing something that you constantly have a good spot of where the mouse always is. And after a few seconds, it disappears, but it'll easily come back when you do it. There's a lot of different gestures uh, that come with the mouse, no different than if you use the Mac uh, or the iPad. So I can't hit home enough with you guys. The mouse trackpad on this thing is absolutely amazing. It's actually made of a real piece of glass. So that really gives you that seamless feeling that you see on all the other Apple devices that have a mouse. And it just it's astonishing how smooth and slick it is. You can easily use this to navigate throughout the entire computer. Did I say computer? No, it's an iPad. Uh, that is what's so neat about this. As we get closer and closer and see more and more development of this device here, we are able to use it as a computer device. Actually, throughout the weekend, I made a goal to only use this device to see if I could replace my laptop. And about 95% of everything I could do, I was able to do on the iPad, even some video editing that I was able to upload to TikTok. And if you guys don't uh, follow me on TikTok, Go ahead, check me out on TikTok, check me out on Instagram. I'm a photographer by trade, so I love to show you guys what I'm doing there. 
But the other thing that's really nice about this is the illuminated keyboard. In addition to having that scissor-like feeling of having a real keyboard, you actually have real backlit keys. So if you are traveling or you're in a dark area, you can easily do that. And they adjust based on the luminance of the actual. So there's some additional settings that you can see for both the trackpad and the keyboard. If you go into settings, you can go into general, go into where it says keyboard hardware, and here you're able to adjust that brightness of that keyboard. You're able to basically do a couple additional things with the keyboard. You can also go in and you can adjust for the trackpad. So if you wanna change the speed in which it scrolls or even enhance your click options, you can do that with both. So the one, the last thing I wanna show you guys before we go, and again, there is tons of different videos out there about this keyboard, but I wanted to do this video about how it relates to digital planning and note taking. And this thing is the part that just gets me, it gives me goosebumps. Is I can take this, I can turn it around like so, and now I have an angled writing device. I've always wanted this, I've always been jealous of the Microsoft Surface for so long that on the Microsoft Surface, I could adjust my viewing area. And with this keyboard, yes, with the keyboard, I now have the ability to go ahead and write, and it's actually pretty solid. I'm able to push pretty hard on that. So if I wanna, if I want to write right here, I easily can do that. And if you can make sense of that sentence, you guys are ahead of me. But this keyboard, it's a little bit pricey for the 11 inch model, it's $300 for the 12.9 inch model, it is $350. But when you look at the price of this keyboard and the price of the iPad, it's very comparable to what you would pay for a level entry laptop from Apple. I think that's by design, but you really have a portable device that you can take just about anywhere. And it's the first computer-like device by Apple with a full trackpad and keyboard that allows you to utilize the Apple Pencil. To me, this is a Surface killer. And for someone that really likes Apple being able to sync everything with my watch, my phone, my iPad, my laptop, this really competes with the Microsoft Surface, the Android, with this having one unified platform. And with the power of GoodNotes, in OneNote and similar apps, it really takes your guys' journaling, your note taking to the next level. So if you haven't looked at the keyboard yet as part of your entourage for note taking, if it be for at work or in the field, now's the time to do so. So guys, that's it. That is the new keyboard from Apple using it with the iPad. If you like what we're doing, go ahead, hit the subscribe button, follow our page. If you don't know what the key to success planning system is, now's the time to check it out. It's in the description above. But guys, I'm gonna be with you, helping you in 2020, learn how to be better digital note takers and plan your future and make sure you reach all those goals that you have in front of you. I'm Brandon Bonifer. Until we see each other again, thank you for tuning in.